Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to take a quick moment to thank Deer Cam Coffee and Yeti for everything they do to help keep us awake and energized for the whole show to keep you guys entertained. Make sure you subscribe and stick around to all Boner Plant stuff so you can get into chances to win things. And uh, hey, let's have some fun. The BHP Podcast is presented by BowhunterPlanet.com. Join the hunt. Support for the Bowhunter Planet Podcast is provided by HHA Sports, Cold Steel Knives, Scott Archery, Burris Optics, Element Outdoors, Reveal Cellular Trail Cams, Deer Cam Coffee. Additional support is provided by Yeti. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bowhunter Planet Podcast. We have Dave, we can't stop laughing, Tim, Kevin, Katie, no, that's Jay, and Troy from <laughs> Hunt Wars. How's it going, Troy? Good. How are you guys? Good, good so, man. As you can see, we're just we're kind of yeah. slap happy at this point. <laughs> uh, you know, we have a good time around here, but it's good to good to see you, man. We're we're excited to have you on and talk a little bit about Hunt Wars. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh yeah. Um, man, uh it, it is it is fun to be on here, and uh I'm really excited to kind of just break this down with you. Um, I love the format, I like the video style. Um, and so, uh, we, we hatched this idea and started taking applications like back in March. Um, so even rewind a little bit, you know, before that I, uh, I grew up hunting. I'm, I'm from Utah out here West and, um, you know, I'm a competitive guy and, and I know there's a lot of competitors out there in bow hunting and in, in general and in, in just hunting. And I see them every day when they hike higher than me or farther than me, or you think you, you think you've arrived at an area and there's nobody ever been there before. And then you see like, you know, an old sardine can or something crazy. And so, uh, we being competitive, we started in March, we started taking applications just from guys that are general public guys. Like, um, it's kind of cool that way. And, uh, this is, uh, this is for the everyday hunter. We have matchups for that. And then we have matchups that we obviously designate, but as far as it goes, yeah, we took applications. We uh, did those through July, and then we randomly drew our hunt competitors. And uh, we had four elk hunts, and then we have mule deer, four elk hunts in New Mexico, and then we have uh, mule deer hunts coming up in Arizona. And this year, we're featuring all archery. Uh, next year, we'll be featuring um, some other some other hunts, and it, exciting. The, the, the biggest thing for us is kind of threefold. Number one is we wanted to have a TV show that's a reality. It's not second takes. Uh, it's not, you know, on, on private land. It's on public land. And we just wanted everyday hunters. So that was kind of number one. Number two, we wanted to get a lot of gear sponsors so that these guys could go out and, you know, as they arrive in camp, they get a bunch of gear that we, we've went out and got sponsors for. And then number three, we actually wanted to give guys that have never or would never have the opportunity to hunt these hunts, to go on these hunts and, and then compete at the highest level and go farther, push themselves to deeper country and uh, just be competitor competitive like we as hunters are. So that's kind of the basis and backstory of the, of the hunt wars. And uh, we're super excited to kick off uh, season two. We already shot season one this year, and this is our application process you're showing right now. It's okay. really simple. You don't have to give an arm and a leg to, to uh, be on it. And this is the mothership that you're showing right here. Uh, this is our auction platform that we go and auction hunts off for conservation groups and outfitters. And we actually do kind of a similar breakdown as you guys do with uh, a video breakdown with the outfitter to set the correct expectation expectations on the hunt. And then they, uh, people go on and bid and, uh, it's, it's been a, an absolute blast and the hunt wars has been unreal. Um, the archery elk hunts went amazing in New Mexico. You're going to see a, a, a less experienced matchup, our first matchup, and then a more, a really experienced matchup for our second matchup. And then we just added an additional matchup with Aaron Snyder versus South Cox in an all traditional bow oh, field man. hunt in Arizona. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and so if people don't know, this is all, be, we'll all be on Carbon TV, right? Yeah. So Carbon TV, Amazon Prime, and YouTube, but Carbon TV is kind of our, one of our main partners um, to put this on. 
This is really cool. I, this is one of the coolest ideas. I, I, but my thing is, you guys could take this even further. You honestly could do like, I mean, like this. First off, the the format, everything you guys have is perfect, and it's going to be awesome, no doubt about it. But you can actually make it even more interesting when you look at like, like you could do like, like like personalities versus each other too. So you could do like. You know the bowhoney.coms of the world versus the boner plants of the world. <laughs> two yeah. on two. You know what I mean? Like you could do that. Elite yeah. versus Botac. Whatever. I'm just saying you could do like all sorts of crazy stuff when it comes to uh, you know um, who Miranda, Tom Miranda versus yeah. versus uh, the. Crush. So we've got we've got huge plans, um, Dave. You're like, I mean, you're exactly like me. Your wheels start spinning, oh, and you're man. like, I could do this matchup and this matchup, and we this could go amazing. to this place and. Uh, I think season two is going to blow season one out of the water. Um, we, uh, we've got a huge lineup for hunts coming up and some exciting announcements. We're going to bring in a youth uh, matchup where your shooter has to be under 15 years old, and then you'll have a father-son or a mother-son matchup. We've got some amazing, amazing hunts wow, coming up for season awesome. two. Season one, we're super excited about. We've, we've kept it, the scoring – will also change. That's another really cool part. So uh, season one, we have total gross score of the animal. You shoot an elk or a mule deer, whatever the matchup is. Then you get additional points for the age. The maturity counts for double. So we oh, cool. age every animal. That way, if they're five years old, you get an additional 10 points. Um, and then the third metric is shot yardage. So we actually deduct bow hunters for shooting longer ranges. So zero to 40 is no deduction. 40 to 60 is a 10 point deduction. 60 to 80 is 20 and 80 plus yards is a 30 point deduction on your score. And it's total score wins. Whoever's the highest score wins that matchup. That's so cool. That is cool, man. That's a great way to do it too, because it's, it really focuses in on the hunt, right? Not, not the, not the kill and not the kill shot. It's, it's how good of the hunt, how good of a hunt did you do? Which I think is absolutely, yeah. man, that, that's a cool way to do it. I, you know, you think off the top of your head, you're like, oh yeah, longer shot would be, you know, better, right? You know, I'm, yeah. I'm better, you know, I'm shooting, shooting a bow a longer distance. How amazing is that? But you're right. I mean, to get a shorter distance shot on an animal is so I much hope. harder yeah. than seeing oh, them a yeah. hundred yards out. So, so much harder. And uh, watching these guys chase big bulls down in New Mexico was was awesome. We actually had, uh, so it's teams of two. So you go on to Hunt Wars, um, you apply, it's a hundred bucks per team. Um, and uh, you're, you're selected. And then we don't tell you where you're showing up until a week before the hunt. So we give you the coordinates of camp a week before your hunt. And then we have memberships with, uh, or with Hunt and Fool, where they get to do a bunch of e-scouting and talk through the areas uh, with our, our sponsor Hunt and Fool so that they can best be equipped. But we wanted to do that so that it was a level playing field. You don't have guys in areas scouting and trail cams. Yeah. Like this Did is I, hunting at its finest, like show up and get it done. I, I love it. Man. If you want to know, doing. like from the ground up, like, what do you do? Like, what's the first thing I'm going to do when I have a new property, right? How do I scout it? Where do I go? What's my game plan? Yep. No better way than what you guys are doing. That's just phenomenal information for any hunter. Now, regardless of the competition, that's phenomenal information for everybody. To know. I want that's in great. on this. I want in on this. <laughs> so oh, I, I want. So, no, hold on. No. So listen, Troy, I want no. Dave on this. Right. No, I no, do. I want different. Dave on this too. Of course, Vigeron Vigeron want... versus Dave and Tim, loser gets face <laughs> tattoos. Okay. Yeah. I, I agree with that part of it, but not just, not even that. I want in on the show because I want, I want these guys to call into the podcast and tell us how they're feeling. Are they going to win? Yeah. Gonna win? I want cool. the teams to call in yeah. and say, you know, we'll, we'll set up meetings up with them like this and they can start talking about in the season. Like we're going to beat them. We're going to win. Yeah, talk trash. Exactly. Yeah. And we can Try, are there uh, are there deductions for shooting an animal and not being able to recover it, things like that? <laughs> actually, great question. Um, our our number one draw blood rule actually took effect in our second matchup. So you are correct. So if you wound an animal, your videographer is your referee. If there is blood on the ground and we can tell that it's even remotely a fatal hit, that is your animal. You hunt that animal for the rest of your hunt. Wow. 
Well, well, that that we're out. <laughs> <laughs> not me. I'm not me. <laughs> just you two. Yeah, Dave just said. Well, not yeah, me, okay, Dave. Dave. How many deer did we track for you this year and didn't find? Just one. And we <laughs> yeah. talked about close. Yeah. It was a five. Yeah. Shot. Yeah. It must run in the family, but okay. <laughs> Hey, the other the other thing that I think would be really good with this group is we have a sudden death. Like, no, we always name a, a winner. Like, we don't have like so. We had one group, the inexperienced group. They freaking battled all week. It was tough conditions, and ended up going. And I'm I'm kind of spoiling a little bit of the show. But long story short, we actually go to a sudden death shootout, archery shootout Dang. for the win. Oh, so nice, nice. Each team gets five arrows. Um, they each have to take a shot at 40, take a shot at 60, and then they designate an 80-yard shooter for the win. And then it's total points. And we always throw in something fun, like you have to kneel, you have to hold your bow back for a minute. That's cool. So you're going to see a lot of guys just flinging arrows at 80 <laughs> missing targets. It's actually really funny. That so, is really fun. Let's talk about the gear. So when, when the first season uh, was, you know, when you guys started the first season, uh, what was the kind of gear that they could expect when they showed up to camp? Perfect. So we went out and got some amazing sponsors. Um, first off, we had Davis tents decked out um, with stoves, awesome wall tents set up with cots uh, in each tent. We had Mountain Mafia sleeping bags for every contestant on the show. Then they walked into their gear tent and we had a Leopold spotter, a Leopold rangefinder, Leopold binos, Leopold bino harness. Um, we had... Uh, let me think what else we had Badlands backpacks and Onyx maps already and loaded for them. Um, we had, you know, peak refuels for the entire week for them. Um, sheep feet were sent out to them. They got custom orthotics put in their boots for them for the week. Um, if you guys don't know those guys, they're freaking legit. Um, if you're hunting out West and you do put a lot of miles on those guys are that, that that's top notch. And so, that was kind of the gear pack that they walked into. Uh, the prize pack was new prime bows um, for each guy that won, uh, uh, solo stoves for each guy that won, uh, crispy boots for each guy that won, black ovis pants for each guy that won, guy that won oh, cool. and then a canvas cutter set up for each guy that won. How so long, how long they, were they there? Uh, they were there for seven days per matchup. Seven days. So they get, they got in the camp. We uh, shoot a little interview with them. The, we had teams from a team from Bama, a team from Montana, a team from Colorado, a team from Utah uh, that competed in the elk hunts. Um, and uh, yeah, and then and then they get a half day scouting just to get familiar with the area. And then the, the we do a cool little dinner with them. And it's reality TV. I mean, that hunt starts, the competition starts, and you know, I, I can't wait for it to come out. You're going to see some some amazing things, and you're going to see some really, really rookie mistake things. And that's <laughs> what hunting's all about. You know, well, have you ever I'm had totally it where like, mistakes. yeah? And I'm sure if you haven't yet, it's bound to happen. But guy goes out first hour, two hours, shoot done, and then that's it. So it's hard to get the footage. <laughs> we haven't had that yet. Uh, my cameraman would be super jazzed. Um, I think my I cameraman bet. averaged about 50 miles a week on the wow. outcome. Yeah, those guys are tough as nails. And they're carrying all their camera gear. Wow. Uh, we had Baku bikes in camp. So the guys, the the, the teams could use those. And uh, it was it was very interesting to try to capture footage on a Baku bike, you know, ripping through the backcountry of New Mexico. So... Uh, there was, there's going to be a lot of action, a lot of, you know, strategy that goes into this, that these guys are, are not only strategizing, uh, against each other. Um, and, and the cool part is, is we separate camps so they don't know what the other's doing. They're just both in the oh, same area. It's like, a no, they don't have an idea. Yeah. Like if something feels, we don't share that with the other team. You so bet, there's no, no sharing of, Hey, you got to go beat 350 or whatever. They just, they just. I always ask the teams, do you want to know if the others are killed? And then we leave it up to them if they want to know or not. Most of them don't. They just want to hunt their hunt and not have any more pressure. Kevin, that would have been a great, that would have been a great setup for you and uh, Bob this year. You know, he <laughs> knows nothing about what you're doing. <laughs> do you, do you rep these guys and make sure that they're like in shape and stuff like that? 
Um, so after we dra ra like randomly draw, we do a video conference call just like this with our whole team, with the guys to make sure they're compatible, that they can hunt, um, you know, that they're the right matchup for us. And if for some reason they don't make it to the show, we refund their hundred bucks and then just put them in for the next year and just mm -hmm. say, Hey, well, it didn't work out on this matchup. Let's, let's work. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get you next year. Cool. That's awesome, man. So season so one's when done. are the applications? Applications application? started. Well, season one's closed, Dave. So you can't get in on that. Season two <laughs> starts uh, January 1st. We're going to announce all the new hunts um, coming up. Uh, we've got, we've got some really, really cool stuff. Um, we've got some amazing competitions that aren't on actual horns at all. And so, uh, we've been thinking through a, a few different types of competitions of total meat taken off the animal. And then we weigh it. Um, we've been thinking about doing a competition where it's speed to the tag out, like to the kill. So we set a minimum requirement. You have to shoot this animal or bigger. And then they go and it's whoever can kill first instead of the biggest. So we've got a lot of stuff, Dave, in the works. I mean, we'll find something that fits your who you can know, your survive who can survive the BHP podcast. Yeah, when get is, our vote. <laughs> <laughs> when does uh, when does the first show air? First show will air mid July. Um, we're editing it right now, and it is uh it's it's awesome. We had two videographers with each team on the elk hunts. So you're going to get not only footage of the, of the caller, but also footage of the kill of the shooter. And so you're going to see both that both kind of aspects of the hunt. And a lot of the time the shooter had to be 150 yards in front of the caller. So you couldn't really tell what was going on. So we, we actually put two cameramen with each group so that we could capture that. And you guys can kind of see the difference, you know, some really, really experienced out callers. Those guys are legit, and you're going to hear some bulls ripping at these guys. That's it's unbelievable. Awesome. Yeah, what we the, uh, we what's uh, the schedule for release? Like, how often do you release? Is it weekly that there's, uh, that the episodes come out? So we'll try to get the elk hunts done by the end of January, and then the deer hunts hopefully by March. And and season one was was our not test ground. We got we have two two mule deer matchups. Um, so Aaron. Aaron and South are one matchup. And then we also have our guide versus guide expert matchup coming up in January. These guys are 10 plus year veterans at killing mule deer with their bows. These dudes are legit killers. Uh, one team from Idaho, one team from Wyoming. Awesome, man. That's really cool. I was going to say, uh, we, uh, Kevin and I were in Utah a couple of years ago. It was beautiful. We had a great time in Alta. And uh, that we had to go visit Hoyt when we were there, Badlands. It was a really good time, and and it's a great country. So I'll, I'll make sure we get a hold of you next time we're out there because I love. Yeah, it. hey, I, I would love. I mean, one thing I would say, I actually love your idea of getting these guys, these competitors on on here and just trash talking. It was <laughs> it was funny. I was uh, talking to Aaron and South, and and you know they're two pretty competitive guys. And as we started, you know, chatting through it, like all of a sudden it was like. South, I hope you don't whoop me. And, and, you know, Aaron's like, I hope you don't. And I'm like, guys, like, this is not a trash talk. This is like, quit <laughs> pussy around. Like, let's freaking go. Like, this is, this you is a hot wars. So those two are going to be fun to have in camp. They're, they're absolute awesome dudes. And we're just excited to have them. Um, every like year we'll probably do either a celebrity matchup or a brand versus brand. Just like you said, Dave, mm -hmm. I want to get some competing brands. I want, I want you guys versus, you know, like you said, uh, Planet Bowhunter or, you know, whoever. Yeah. So we, we would have to like pin down who from our show should go. So so uh, to put you on the spot, you know, you, you haven't really talked to us much in the past. I know you've talked to Dave, but so you got to leave that those conversations out of it. But out of the group here, who would be your call to be the best hunter? Just, just, uh, just, you know, just, so I'm just picking one guy, or am I picking a team? Because I, oh, no, I kind of, you know, I was kind of like one of like an old guys versus young guys. No, 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 no. You're, you are, you are. Well, we can do that later, but yeah, we can do that. Let's just mute Tim because he's definitely not on this list. So uh, just I, hey, you know what? 
Well, I was gonna say Tim. I mean, those those guys have a lot of experience. Listen, and it's Tim's funny, got though. one kill in his whole I life. It's a little, it's a little, yeah. like do, a you, do you accept crossbows? <laughs> <laughs> he can't say he's dying. <laughs> oh god, I love being the host. Oh god, he got muted so hard. I can actually unmute oh. myself. <laughs> Oops. That's yeah, I uh, I don't know. Jay seems kind of quiet. He's that quiet killer. Yeah, yeah. he is. Yeah, he's man. been a killer this year. You know what, Troy? If I was going to put my money on anybody, it'd probably be Jay, too. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll be Jay's cameraman. I can go hold this stuff. There you go. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll awesome. be his tracker. If I had to if I had to send, like, if, if it was all about, like, the best hunters on the team, I would probably send, I would probably send Jay and Ron, to be honest. That really? would be who I would send, because Ron is definitely, these two together, I would get it done for sure. But if, I, if I'm if i really going to, I'm not going to really send those guys to something fun like this. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, we, you can bring your friends on here, and we'll teach them how to trash talk. That's all we're good yeah. at. Hey, we're I'll not good at hunting. Fish with the hunter pops. Yeah. You can we'll just stir put the, in the pot. App, yeah, we'll definitely yeah. stir the pot. This is like a big hunt camp in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I actually, and it's funny because when you when when we're on the show, uh, a lot of the strategic stuff actually plays out first. Like guys, they want to, you know, they want their best caller, but then they want to be the kid, you know, the shooter too. And so we had some amazing, you know, uh, long range shots to try to dictate who was the who was the killer or the shooter and who was the. Uh, <laughs> The caller. Is that a whole? Uh, there's not a whole the, lot the of. Teams were really, really good. There was some. Not really, a whole lot really of elk hunting in forth. Michigan. No, there is, but now. Yeah. Yep. So I love try, it, man. Tell us about your hunting experience this year. Have you uh, got a chance to get out? Because it sounds like this project is a lot of work. Because I can imagine uh, with that. Um. It, yeah. It. Uh. So I actually headed down to New Mexico. Um. Set up all the camp and everything for all the the guys with our videographers. Like September third, I was down there the whole month of September filming this. Wow. So. The, the crazy part was, is actually um, I got to sneak away on, on the second matchup because we had such experienced guys in camp. Like I was trying to help a ton and they were just like, get out of my way. So I'm like, <laughs> okay, screw that. I'm going to go hunt myself. So I actually went and bought just a quick landowner tag in a, in a neighboring unit. That's the nice part about New Mexico. Yeah. You know, you, you go hunt in these little rinky dink places and next thing you know, you're everybody's best friend in town. And so they were... <laughs> They were rolling out the red carpet for me to go hunt. And so I went and hunted and actually had a really fun time. My little boy drew probably the, one of the best tags in New Mexico for, for mule deer. He's 12 and we just wow. got back from, from there. He shot his first mule deer buck with his, with a oh, rifle. Wow. And that was awesome. So That's I've got awesome. out a little bit, but you know, these have definitely taken precedence and, uh, you know, season two is even going to get better. We'll, we'll do more hunts. There's going to be some twists and turns and some cool stuff. So uh, I don't, I don't necessarily need a hunt being in camp with all these cool guys and meeting them for the first time. It has been like actually really, really cool. Um, we had that team from Bama come in. Those guys were some of the coolest dudes, you know, I've ever, I'd, I'd share my campfire with them anytime of the day. You, you, we just have a kinship between yeah. hunters. And so yeah. you, you go up yeah, and for sure. It, it, it's been a blast. I mean, this group would be a blast <laughs> to have. It. Yeah, like you're, you're selling me really hard on just having a hot wars hey, matchup Dave. with this group. Dave, you're, you're, yeah. you're recording this, right? Because after he actually meets us in real life and spends more than like an hour with us, that, that tone's going to change. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually pretty funny. Cause when we, we have our, we have a team BHP, it's called, it's a, it's a program with over like about a hundred people in it. And it's, it's basically like people who really love the BHP stuff and they want to do stuff with us. So anyway, once a year, we usually have one of them come out and hunt with us at our hunt camp. Well, <laughs> this year, uh, Isaac came and he came from uh, uh, Indiana and he... <laughs> He didn't see a deer, I don't think. <laughs> he was so mad. He's like, because the year before, I think he came and he shot, he shot at a nice buck. And then this year, he saw like nothing. It was the funniest crap. It's like it was a, a good nine time. hour drive. You know, you're with Dave and Jamie and sometimes me the whole time. And $200 that's Michigan in of itself. Day. And then to sit outside and not see a single deer either. <laughs> oh, I feel for him. Welcome to Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. I, I thought you were. I thought you were going to say something like 
he hunted one day with us and then he's like, I'm out. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, Dude, listen, we are the we're no, too far we have that kind of luck. That's what he was <laughs> I warned him about the weirdness. I think it worked. <laughs> he's just as weird. <laughs> I love it, man. Dude, I am so excited about this, man. I'm glad that we found you. This hunt wars thing is just what so an cool. awesome idea. I don't want to wait. I, I don't say... have to wait till July. I know it sucks. I want to see it sooner. Yeah. When can we see it? <laughs> yeah. I uh January will be good. We'll drop one. some episodes. We've got there hey, it there it is. Hey, that looks like a winner. That'll win. That'll win a matchup. That's all because of Nopum. You pushed that out to me. It was a perfect Actually, really, it's because the angle of the photographer made it look good. <laughs> Kevin's buck. There's his this year. We got lucky this year, actually. A couple of us here. That's amazing. Two, That's two actually down. Amazing. That's cool. Is that all we got, guys? We a, we no, Jay got out, a few. I really want to figure few. out a, a white tail matchup, and maybe you guys can help me with that. I can't figure it out because I think about it, and I'm like, okay, you know, you go and you pick your stand. And then you're usually in your stand and a lot of the best whitetail hunting is obviously on private ground. So I've got to really think through it. Yeah. yeah. We're going to come out with a whitetail. We'll come out with a whitetail hunt mm-hmm. and uh, figure out how to, how to put it into a competition. I think um, you would, you would almost need to uh, enlist the help of uh, somebody who owns a lot of land to let them use their property, like in Ohio or yeah. somewhere where you're going to see it. Like when we went to Ohio, we hunted, um, it was a, a outfitter there. And it was all, you know, free reign, whatever. But he he had access to six farms. And on those farms are 300 acres each. And in this scenario, doing like a competition, you would have to have it that way. And also maybe a, because I don't think you're going to be able to do it like, see, it'd be very hard. You'd almost have yeah. to like flip coins to see who goes to what lots. And then that's right. your lot for the whole competition, whatever it ends up being. Because if you want, if you wanted to put stands up. Uh, but there are ones in Ohio I know of actually own 300 plus acres that something like this might be an eye opener for them to get, you know, uh, promotion too on their, their facilities. But like that, you would need that because with, you know, if you were to hunt like whitetail on state land, like in Michigan, it'd be a disaster. Four corn takes the, right? takes the, yeah, I think that's where you do like the most meat because you might not be shooting yes. something with any antlers. Whatsoever. That's the fair but statement. If you if you the, want to do it where you didn't care about horn and you're just, you know, if you don't, because the thing is horns are flashy. They do bring in viewership. It's just a true statement, yeah. even though it's not, you know, we all want to just get meat. But the thing is, if, if you did it like here, you'd be like, who's got the biggest button buck, basically. Yeah. <laughs> if it's on pride. If it's on pride. <laughs> <laughs> who's got the bit yeah who's got yeah, the most course, milk on their lips still in the low to the single digits you know how many spots does it have <laughs> yeah it would be bad I'm yeah. telling you. it would not go over well i don't think i've ever jay i, I know uh you you've hunted mainly private lands too in michigan but i don't know of any huge bucks i've ever seen on public land except for the one ron shot a few years back with yeah, us. he saw some nice deer up in the thumb in uh, Deford area. area. Yeah. I know he, had some but that still wasn't success. a huge you, buck, get, you know, no, that was like yeah, 110. It's, it's you know, yeah, and the yeah, problem 110. is like when you're hunting state land, like there's so many guys out there. Number one, right. you can't, you know, find right. a spot that's dedicated to you on on you know state property is tough. I mean, they're not they're yeah. not big enough where yeah. you can range like you do with elk, where you can go all over the place and track a herd or find a herd and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you might, you might see, see great signs of a huge buck, but you know, 40 yards to your right, it's private property and you can't shoot it. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Don't yeah, come to tough. Michigan. That's the answer to this one. Yeah. But <laughs> there's Ohio, there's Illinois, there's Indiana. All we'll of those put states. some thought into that one though. Yeah. But those states, sir. Yeah. And it might come, it might come down to maybe you go and you, you know, I've thought about going out and reaching out to dudes that have their own farms and say, okay, yeah. your farm versus this farm. Mm-hmm. And we do the match. Oh, that's that a good one. You, you push your own farm and it's just kind of cool to watch these guys go try to kill the biggest buck on their own farm. What I want to see yeah. is real tree versus mossy Oak. <laughs> Tyler bring in the heat. Ooh. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, you know, when you talk about one farm versus the other it might be something like there's a lot of these places like the. And he muted himself. <laughs> That's awesome. That's just great. <laughs> Top 10, top 10%. Versus Pops Loose Moose or something. Yeah, like those kind of shows too. Yeah, that's oh, like another option. But dude, honestly, like you, you guys with this competition stuff, dude, I'm, I'm so really, really excited to see this stuff. Yes. Yeah. Really never ending ideas. Yeah. You really could just keep moving. Turkey on. hunting, competition, yeah. turkey hunting. Ooh. Well, I think that's it, right? Like it's the, the competition thing in, in that reality show type of setting is just, it, it's so fun to watch just personally. 
Yeah. Right. Like you get to kind of connect with people, but you get to see like the real life of how people react to the scenarios. And it's just, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see this dude. And that, that's, yeah. awesome. I, I think a lot of people like lose hope over the years, like all these hunting shows out there that like stage stuff, right. That it's, yeah. You know, they go to a ranch, but they play it off like they're on private property or, you know, public land and that kind of thing. But to truly do what you guys are doing in a competitive nature, number one, that's super hard yeah. for like you to actually get one. But number two, super exciting to watch like the thought process of that. That's cool, man. Yeah. And I, uh, you know, these teams just having different guys on, right? Like different personalities. It's not the same guy hunting every time. And and on top of that, you know, I was like stressed in my, you know, stressed out of my mind that like, Hey, what if we don't kill and this? And I'm like, you know what? That's, that's just the reality hunting. And, yeah. uh, we actually, we incorporated a, a new thing that we'll be bringing out in season two, um, which is called the vent tent where mm. it's a safe zone. You could go in there and Dave could just rip on Jay for like <laughs> 20 minutes and just, Hey, this guy's like walking with a couple of Cheeto bags on his feet everywhere <laughs> we go. That's so great. We, uh, we're going to incorporate a few fun things that way. We don't want to blow up any relationships, but we definitely want to capture like the, the, the ups and downs of hunting. Yeah, I, know I mean, if they're, if they're real friends, they'll get through it, right, Dave? Yeah. Dude, no, <laughs> right. I'll never forget this because when I was hunting with Ron in Ohio, we had hunted and Outfitter invited us to come hunt there. We hunted there and it was we had to hunt together. The, 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 the deal was we would hunt together. We could both shoot a buck, but like one would have to shoot. We had to film it, get good footage and vice versa. So we're hunting and we're in the stand and we're sitting uh, opposites. So I can't do it with my wrist, but opposite <laughs> sides like this. And I'll never forget. It was freezing. It was like so cold. We're like 25 feet up and our stands are literally at the same level, just opposite sides of the tree and Ron standing up and he, he had put his glove on my, on my seat and we're both standing there talking and all of a sudden, like, I think I turned his glove just like fell and hit the ground. <laughs> and we both just like looked at it and we're just like, oh my God, like it's freezing. <laughs> he, was <so laughs> he was so mad. He was so mad. So what are you, what are you doing? I'm like, why'd you put it on my seat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you get seven days deep in a hunt. You start really ripping on each other, you know? And yeah, uh, just wait till, you know, day two <laughs> and Dave's back goes out and he can't help pump out meat and somebody's he's gonna get oh left in the, you're gonna get left in the woods that's got to be some of the best stuff is the actual pack back yeah for sure yeah. man oh I was there any fist fights yeah. <laughs> uh, actually there is uh there's wow. uh you know it's it's really funny to watch kind of the inexperienced guys and how they came a little bit underprepared and the experienced guys came over prepared and you're gonna you're gonna see some real like there's one interaction where I think uh, one of the groups gets lost and they don't have a radio to like get in touch with each other. And they're sneaking oh. in, putting a stock on a bull. And then here comes the brother just trucking right through and blows <laughs> out. Like, <laughs> and they, they start getting at each other's face. It gets pretty intense. Yeah, that, uh, that would be so. us. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But at the end of the day, we all love each other. Yeah, that's uh, um I was watching an episode. This is so funny. I was watching an episode of I think it was Craig Morgan Outdoors a long time ago. This must have been like seven eight years ago. But anyway, he was filming at an outfitter, and while he was filming a hunt, they were mule mule deer hunting or elk hunting, something like that. Another film crew had come into the like the scene that was another show, like a different show. And I remember that he's like, Hey, he's like, Hey, and they're, they're it, like he filmed it. And I loved it because it was almost like a behind the scenes kind of clip, you know, that you wouldn't normally see. And, um, as he's walking, as they're walking away, they, <laughs> they, they like film the guy, the, the camera guy films, the other camera guy's shoes and he's got shoes on <laughs> They're in the middle of this, like huge, like Utah type outdoors or New Mexico, whatever. And the guy, they're laughing. They're like, why is he wearing tennis yeah, shoes? Crocs, out here? Like, a Hawaiian shirt. It was hilarious. The camera guy was like, not an outdoorsman. He just looked like a camera guy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, that actually happened to us. I had to go buy one of our camera guys. He showed up in a bunch of like North oh. Face rain gear and was oh. just swishing all over the mountain, blowing stocks <laughs> for our hunters. I'm oh, like, dude, no. we got to get you. And he's like, why? I mean, Donnie Vincent hunts and stuff that's not camo, you know? And I'm like, this yeah. ain't your hunt, buddy. <laughs> that's the problem. Just Vincent. take your paycheck and wear what we tell you. <laughs> yeah. Be quiet. Oh, gosh. I love it. <laughs> All right, Troy. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Um, I got the website up here. Is it? It's the hunters.com with a Z. 
Is yeah. it huntwars.com? Huntwars.com. You know, it's right up there. And uh, follow us on Instagram. We'll be down there with uh, Aaron Snyder and uh, South, and we'll be doing some updates on, on Instagram for you guys. So just giving you insights on how the hunt's going. And again, the show airs on uh, Carbon TV, Amazon Prime, and YouTube, correct? Yep. Hot awesome. Wars TV is the YouTube, um, so you can go subscribe there. And then, uh, yeah, Carbon TV, and you can look for that like right around the first part of July will be probably the first matchups. Uh, we're going to keep the episodes a little bit short. We're probably going to do 15-minute episodes uh, just so that, you know, you can kind of get through them and then – uh, we, we would love to drop them all at the same time, but editing, obviously. And then the hunts being so far apart. I mean, we haven't even filmed, you know, our last matchup. So yeah. we just got a lot, uh, you know, to, to get through. Yeah. I think we had like four terabytes of stuff, our first matchup, which I guess by cameraman terms was like three days of just film. So those guys That's have incredible. just been uh, binge watching a bunch of, a bunch of dudes running around the hills. Yeah, it's a lot of work, man, and I, I, but I appreciate you guys doing it. I know it's a ton of work doing something like this, but I think in the end, I think people are going to love it, and I'm really excited for you guys. I think it's going to work out really good. Yeah, yeah, we had a ton of fun tonight. I can't imagine how much fun it's going to be watching this, man. Yeah, it'll it'll just get better season after season, and our biggest thing is is have you know tons of guys apply so that we can have better hunts, better personalities, and just have a good good time in camp. So thank you for having me on, guys. I super appreciate it.